I still wouldn't go in front of people. I wouldn't want to look like a fucking slob like he does. Yeah. I would be in the... Like Josh? Like Josh wasn't even... Even when he tried out for the show, wasn't didn't look super heavy because he's fucking six foot eight. But he was 315 pounds and he's down to two... What? 270 something and he looks fucking phenomenal now. Yeah, see, that's what Vince is looking for. Vince likes those big guys. But still, Josh didn't look like the typical big guy. He, it's not like Vince was like, hey, you need to you need to trim down. I think that would have taken him at 315, 6'8". Yeah. But he trimmed down to 275 and looks like a beast because of it. I think Triple H is going to like what he can do with that kid in NXT. Yeah. I think well, no, he's, he's a big dude. I think he's someone that he can bring in and to mold. NXT and actually work matches in a year or so. Yeah. The girls... You've got a lot of work to do with her. Unless unless Chelsea gets a deal, that Chelsea Green girl, yeah. which is the only one I saw that could make it in the, in the WWE. Yeah. I don't see Sarah Lee. I don't know what people fucking saw in that girl. I don't know. It was just like a joke thing that everybody was every week going, oh, we're going to put her through again. It's because she was the little nice one. Yeah. Honestly, I thought Amanda wrestled a better match than her. I thought Sarah sucked. Yeah. I actually thought Amanda deserved to win. In all honesty, I, she wrestled a good match. I mean, granted, Alicia Fox isn't that good in the ring either, but... Yeah, there was a couple of botches. Not yeah, there were. I can't blame it on Alicia Fox, but... Honestly, I would I would've thought they would have brought somebody in better to... I would blame it more on Alicia Fox than I would on um, either of the two rookies, because they're rookies. Like, Alicia should know what to work and... And what to I would have thought like that, like they brought in Cesaro, they would have brought in an NXT girl to fight. They should have brought Bailey. The girls, yeah, they like brought one Dana of them. Brooke. One of them. She was already helping. I'm even so. You know what? If, if it were, if it didn't have to be somebody that all the fans knew, the casual fan, yeah, then it would have been, um, in it, it would have been like Jason Jordan and Dana Brooke, the same people that have been helping out the whole time. But, um, no, and, I don't know, I had no problem, like, a two-minute match or whatever, okay, fine, whatever. But teach him more moves. There was a lot of just awful shit that won't do shit. It, it seems like the level of learning these guys do now with in the new seasons is so much less than what they would pack into the old ones. If yeah. you go back and watch the old ones, by the end of the show... Al Snow is teaching it in, like, 20 minutes. They're picking up. In one of the last episodes, they're doing fucking moonsaults in the first season. Right. You think anybody in this season's doing a fucking moonsault? They wouldn't even let, uh... What's-his-face do a powerbomb, Josh? They wanted, uh... Tanner's move to be a crossbody. Like, teach them something! See, I didn't see any of that in... It's on the network. You gotta, you gotta go and... Them teaching them anything? On um, the new seasons or the old season? The new season. Oh, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. In the new season, they didn't teach him shit. They taught him how to take a bump and get up. I'm just reading that uh, the reports uh, or the rumors of John Cena stepping in to make sure Nikki Bella doesn't lose the belt, doesn't lose the belt are false. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they're putting that know. out now. So yeah. Like, oh, don't make John Cena look like a bad guy. He just granted his 500th wish. Rick Flair was stating that uh, Randy Orton is from now on going to be working a lighter schedule for the WWE. So I'm I'm guessing he's on his way. He's got to retirement. He's got shit shoulders and everything. Yeah. He's had a lot of shoulder surgery. I don't and think I don't think he'll leave the company. I think he'll work a back or trainer. Or I don't even think he'll do trainer. I think he'll do a big part time schedule like um, Triple okay. H was doing. Not even booking, because honestly, from everything I've heard, Randy Orton's kind of a dick. Like, he's not the type of guy to, like, go up and be like, hey, listen, this is what you need to do. Yeah. For everything I've heard, he's never been like that. He's always been kind of arrogant and cocky. But... Yeah. Which he played off well when he was younger. So, what do you think of the outcome? Okay, Sting, Seth Rollins match. It's for the title. You think Sting wins the bout? I don't see Sting losing another match. I think Sting's going to lose. You do? Yes. I don't see them giving the belt to Sting. So what? You give the belt to Sting, who's he going to... Sheamus is going to cash in on Sting? See, that's what I was thinking. 
I was thinking that. But you're not going to have Sting drop two matches in a row. His first two matches, really? Why, Brock Lesnar? Or no, he dropped two out of his first three. It's Sting, though. It's Brock Lesnar. Ne- yeah, but Brock Lesnar was in the WWE before. Yeah? Sting was never. This Sting has Sting. been around for a Sting. long time. I think Sting would rather do a job to people, even as a part-timer, than Brock Lesnar. Would you think Brock You're Lesnar You're going to go to the WWE shit? Hall of Fame as never winning a match in the WWE no, or he, never holding a heavyweight championship? I don't think that's going to happen. Cody wears in the fucking Hall of Fame, so you know what? Everything you just said is invalid. I don't even think Cody yeah, Beware ever won a match. Cody wears black, <laughs> and he never would even have the shot to get ah. a belt. <laughs> The only reason he's in there is because of the bird, and that's why. <laughs> the bird was abducted, abducted, not Coco Beware. Coco Beware brought a bird out, brought the bird out with him, too. Frankie? He brought Frankie out with him. I saw Coco Beware at Super Mega Fest eating chicken wings. <laughs> I think it was. He cooked Frankie! I think he was Motherfucker! <laughs> he cooked his bird! Oh, God. Why would he do that? Why? No, I honestly don't think... In all honesty, I don't think... Sting will win a match at WrestleMania, but he's not winning and He's not beating Seth Rollins. I think he is. If he does, then that's some crazy... And I think... If he does, I, think, I will admit you're right, and I will never oppose you again. But he's got to win this one. And I think he's going to cash in. Sheamus. Sheamus, Sheamus is going to cash in. I don't see Sheamus winning till at least after... If Sheamus wins, it'll... No, it won't even be at the Royal Rumble, because there'd be another triple threat match, with it, which they hated. If he cashes in, it'll be at Survivor Series. So has that already happened this year? I don't even know. My pay-per-views are so... Survivor Series? Yeah, I think it already happened. What's next? No. Night last... of Champions is next. Last Survivor so Series... Seth Rollins is defending both belts at Night of Champions. He's defending the heavyweight belt against Sting, and he's the other belt against uh, John Cena. They're making him defend both belts. Is that what they said? Yes. When does Kevin Owens get the belt? And then you're going to have tag team. All right, yeah, so it was a night of return. And actually, we were talking about this before the podcast. Good for Sting for getting in fucking shape. Because he's older than The Undertaker, and he looks yeah. like he's getting around a lot better. Although he was sweating his ass off in that box because half his makeup was fucking missing. He can sweat all he wants as long as he comes back and he, and he works a good match. Because he worked a better match with Triple H than Brock Lesnar's yeah. worked in years. Yeah, he came out and he was holding the belt. He grabbed the belt for Seth Rollins. And said, he's not show. winning. I don't think he's going to win. I think some debauchery is going to happen. And who the fuck is playing that music outside of the studio? I don't know. I'm it's NWA. It. it is. Um, the NWA is in studio. Somebody's playing NWA. Actually, you know whose entrance music Fight that the is? Fight the power. That's public enemy. Uh, whatever. You know whose entrance music this is? It's um, ZZ's. Is it? Oh, uh, you want ZZ to show up now? ZZ's here. ZZ! Hey, what's up, man? Uh, you know, I got the, uh, I got back to Louisiana finally, and uh, I, I miss my family, that's for sure, that's for sure. I, I'm, I miss being in the barracks with all my friends and, and Amanda's big, thick titties that are not quite as big as mine, but, uh, I miss Louisiana. Hey, I wanted to ask you, you were talking about your entrance music that you wanted some kind of rock music with chirping alligators. Wow. That's so stupid. They that, call me King of the Bayou. I think you should have some bayou music with chirping alligators. That would sound better, not rock I wanted, music. I want it to be uh, Bad of the Bone. With some do do Bad of the Bone. Bah. Bah. Baby, baby alligators, baby. <laughs> That's what it would say. Oh, baby alligators. Ba, 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 ba. Mm, baby, ba, ba. Oh. To the bone. Oh. Yeah, okay, ZZ's done. <laughs> now, uh, you know what? Uh, are you, you're not going to ask me about the show or nothing? Uh, so, were you disappointed you lost? Uh, very disappointed because, you know, I thought I was an American hero to the children to show them that they could also be a fat piece of shit. And, uh, you know, still be the champion of the show. I think Vince McMahon is fat shaming me. I think if you were going up against Tanner in the finale, you would have won. Well, that's great, but uh, Tanner didn't make it. Cause, exactly. Because Tanner's got no game. Tanner can't even get his dick hard. You got no game either. Right. Me, sorry. Uh, I was like, I'll have you know that me and Patrick had uh, made six almost every night while Patrick was in the show. How old are you? 
I'm 18. Wow. Me and Patrick. Why do I think you were older? Uh, probably because I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> but I would give Patrick... Oh, uh, you know what? That's why you didn't win. Because you're only 18. They I can't allow 18-year-olds to wrestle in the ring. Yes, they can. No. Yes, they can. It's a rule. No, it's not. That's why... That's Paige why. came when she was 18. She was not 18. 19, whatever. She wasn't. Yes, she was, because they wouldn't let her get called up to the main roster until she turned 21. Right. Yes, yeah, she didn't come. Right, you're she not allowed to wrestle on the main she roster. She was FCW. That's right, all right, so you're not, they're not allowed to wrestle on the main roster until they're 21. Yeah, I could have stayed in... I could have used three years in developmental because uh You could have used a fucking lifetime in developmental and right? you still would have sucked. No, I could have... Well, I, I, the first thing I told Triple H is if I win, I want the WWE to get me liposuction so uh, I would look more like a wrestler. You know, I think you looked fine the way you were and you would could have... Your character would have been better as a um, drag queen like Adrian Adonis and it would have been perfect. Throw a pink and purple bow around your neck and... Oh, wear what dress. about a camo alligator boy? Wear her, yeah, wear a dress to the ring and you would have been right on. Camo dress and an alligator thing on my head. Where are those homo wrestlers? No, Darren Young? He's uh, on the main roster in primetime play. No, I mean, like um, Billy and Chuck. Remember those I don't those think they can do that play? anymore. I heard. I know. The new, the new one's supposed to be uh, Adam Rose and... What's his face? By the way, ZZ's leaving the studio. Fuck ZZ. Get out of here. Don't come back. I, I love you guys too, and uh, thanks for voting for me. <laughs> I didn't vote Pissed for off. shit. <laughs> I did not vote for you either. I voted for Josh. I didn't just. I didn't vote at all. I was like, wow, this is the dumbest thing ever. Why am I gonna vote? This is so fixed. Josh wins. Josh wins. I did call. To be fair, I did say Josh was gonna win from the beginning. And I did say Sarah Lee was gonna win because the fans are stupid. Right. Yeah. No one deserved to win for the girls. That's the secret. Like. Nobody should have won for the girls. They should have been like, Josh wins and Renee Young, you win. Because you bang Dean Ambrose every night. Yeah, she does. Dean Ambrose is the real winner. That's, that's, uh... Oh, we, we have one more big thing to talk about. What's that? The other return that happened. Yes, yeah, Sting. No, not Sting. We talked about Sting. Yeah, the Dudley Boys. The Dudleys, yeah. In character as the Dudley Boys. After the all the rumors were they were done after Bubba Ray went back and refed that match for TNA. Yeah. And I guess W. You know what? I bet he went in and Vince was like, ah, you went back to that piece of shit company. Yeah. He's like, oh, good. He's like, listen, I wipe my ass with dollar bills that could buy that company. So basically, they're coming back, they're going to take the titles back, have a small run, lose the belts, and get inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. It, I don't think it's going to be this year. Yeah, it is. I, I'm calling it right now. This year, I'm saying Dudley's, next year. Dudley's in the Hall of Fame this year. I'm saying next year. Are the Road Warriors in yet? Yes. They are? Yes, they are. Um, my favorite... Bushwhackers or the sheep herders. Uncle Luke or cousin Luke hasn't been here in a while. Cousin long time. Luke, um, I was told, might be back next week. I thought cousin Luke died. We've been waiting for cousin Luke to get here for like six weeks. Cousin Luke is gonna host the show next week because I am going on hiatus. Oh man! So the whole show is gonna be cousin Luke. Oh man! Cousin, how did we get so lucky? Yeah. How did you, how did you... Unless we can get a call in and then someone else can cover for me. Hey, if anybody wants to co-host with Poxy next week... Right. And Cousin Luke? Message, message, yeah, and Cousin Luke, message us, and uh, we'll let you know. I still think you should go to Super Mega Fest and pretend to be a bushwhacker. <laughs> I'm going to get all my camo on. <laughs> I'm going to walk in. <laughs> 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 I wish he was there. But they were there. <laughs> God said no. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Just sit behind and the you, table. You stand back with the recorder. <laughs> periscope it. <laughs> oh, this is coming up live right now. Live right now from the Super Mega Fest. <laughs> Cousin Luke meeting Cousin Luke. The bush, the long lost bushwhacker. Cousin Luke Luke. Oh, yeah. Hello, baby. Oh, man. I really want you to...